music is my life. Cape Town has shaped me in so many ways, as a person and as an artist. The city is so full of emerging talent and inspiration. Since leaving to pursue my solo career, younger siblings have become world acclaimed artists and peers have turned into role models. I set off to explore the shifting landscape of Cape Town's music scene, and this is what I found. There's a lot of artists that aren't doing the mainstream stuff that people just don't know about. I like to listen to music from all over and I really, really, I'm really into our own music right now. It's really good. <laughs> we definitely have a wealth of undiscovered talent in South Africa. I think there's a lot of commercial artists that do really well. They're not really based in kind of indigenous music and they're not really fusing music. We're an indie pop, African Kasi pop band from Cape Town. Kasi means township. We feel like the band was really put together in the Kasi. Yeah, we like that term. And I think the fusion of having Fossa lyrics um, as well as traditional African musicians in the band, along with me, who has a very Western ear, it really can touch all areas of South Africa. You know, you can hear from a melody or see from the way someone's singing what the message is. And I think. People relate to that, they can see it in your eyes. If it's genuine and it's authentic, they're gonna to respond to that. I first told myself how to DJ, and then from DJing I was like, actually, you know, I kinda of wanna play my own stuff now. Eventually I was like, why am I even doing this? Cause now I'm just trying to make music that I've heard before. Why not try and make something that I haven't heard? You know, why not try and make my own thing? That's when I started like experimenting with weird stuff. Because my music is like Afrofuturistic, electronica. It's kind of for me to give out to people so that they can listen and be like, this calms me down or this makes me feel good. Our music scene is still growing, it's still young. And like overseas, their music scene has like developed so much. So that they're really open to like really experimental sounds. I think the individual artists are like experimenting more with their sounds. There's some interesting venues that allow for those artists to use the space in the way that they want. I was looking at uh, the, like CTEMF. Sometimes I feel like it's going in a direction that's more about um, techno. The most exciting thing I'm finding with South African music right now is we literally on the verge of explosion. As a nation, we really have dance and rhythm in us. And I just feel with house music and techno, it brings us all together. And you can really feel the energy at the big outdoor festivals. Very infectious, very colorful. People are having the best time with the music and obviously with the beautiful settings that we have here in South Africa. And I think it brings a very unique element into our party scene. And I think for the first time as South Africans, we're starting to be accepting of our past and we're becoming proud of what we actually have here instead of trying to imitate Europe or America. So I think it's an exciting time for South Africa. I feel hopeful about the growing opportunities to integrate and collaborate and trust that these future pioneers will help to bridge the gap between local and international music. Because the mother city is full of sounds that just can't be found anywhere else in the world.